welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great weekend. I have a huge, huge, huge haul for you. Now, before I get people hating on me, I'm just going to throw this out there. Everything that was purchased was purchased with Christmas money, gift cards, and then I also had a couple of store credits at Sephora from previous returns over the past few months. So I'm throwing that out there, getting that out of the way. This by no means is me bragging, you know, saying, sh showing off, bragging, say, look at me, look at me, look how much money I spent. No, absolutely meeting yeah. Kristen and shopping with her. I'm a little background about our friendship. We are real friends. <laughs> I was I, I first was a subscriber to her channel for months and months and months and months. You know, I would follow her on Instagram and comment here and there, and she would always, always comment back and started following me on Instagram and would like my pictures. And you know, we kind of just developed that um, friendship back and forth through through social media. Then when I decided I was going to start my own beauty channel, I reached out to her, I sent her an email, and I said, hey, look, I know I'm breaking the rules, this isn't a business inquiry, I'm starting a beauty channel, and I, you know, would, I, I, I love your channel, I love your taste, um, you know, from, from what I see, we have a lot of kind of the same values and opinions about certain products, and I was wondering if, you know, you'd maybe like to if you want to call it a mentorship along the way and kind of help me learn the ropes and whatever and she immediately responded and said absolutely started texting and boxing back and, and forth decided at that time hey you know why don't we, we we just do something you know in the future when we have a free date and and meet up and shop so that's what we did and I will say it's amazing how you can build such a friendship through voxing and texting and emailing. I know that sounds so weird, but she's just beautiful inside and out. We had such a great time. There was never a lack of conversation. Not me rambling on and on and on, but yes, amazing, amazing, amazing time. So let's get into the goodies, and I'm kind of going to go in the order we shot. But before I start, I want to just mention a quick thing and show what she brought me, which she didn't have to bring me anything, but she came bearing gifts and it was amazing. So the first thing she brought, and I've taken everything out of packaging because I didn't want to, you guys have to sit through me opening everything and showing what the packaging looks like, because let's be real, nobody cares about the packaging. Well, I mean, some people do, but I don't. So the first thing she brought me was the Chanel Le Beiges, and this is in the number 20. Now, um, she originally, and she's just too sweet, she originally had was, she bought it for herself and she didn't like it and was going to return it and before she was going to return it she asked me if I'd be interested in trying it and I said sure just bring it along with you I'll, I'll give it a try and if I like it I'll, I'll, I'll buy it from you well of course what do you think she did she gifted it to me and I will say this I know this is this pro this has got um, a lot of mixed reviews and I will say this I've only used it once today over my foundation and I will say I like it a lot um, and I, this is the shade number 20. You're not going to be able to see it, but, um, here's my take on this. I'm a full coverage foundation girl, so when I am setting my foundation, I appreciate a lighter weight or less coverage powder to go over top of it because I like my foundation to be the product that's doing the work to give the flawless finish. And I just like this more for setting. So with that being said, this over the current foundations that I'm using is amazing. And I am obsessed and I love it. So love that. The next thing she brought me was this extra dimension blush in at desk. Oh, gorgeous. Here's, here it is swatched. Very, very pretty. And that's just two passes. So, I mean, it is buildable and it's light. But I think anybody, you know, any skin tone can wear this. But it's kind of funny because when that collection came out, you know, I kind of pulled the reins in and was like, I'm not going to buy everything. And she said, don't buy the blush because I have an extra one and I'm giving it to you. And I said, perfect, I'll take it. So I was very happy to have that. The next thing she brought me was this Rimmel London Scandalize Eyeshadow Paint. And this is in the shade Chestnut Taupe, and I'm wearing this today all over my lid um, with, some, with something else, and I'll mention that later, but um, this stuff 
is awesome. And I normally don't prefer products like this just because I prefer paint pots. But this stuff is amazing. Here's the shade. So it's just a very pretty silvery topaz shade. Hands out. It's got kind of like a shimmery opalescent quality to it. Very gorgeous and these things stay put. Uh, we swatched it while we were having coffee and um, it did not budge until I got to Sephora and was able to use the makeup remover and take it off. But awesome and it was really cool because when I applied it on my lid I you know I applied a layer on, on this lid I and then I applied a layer on the other lid so while this one was drying I put another one to this and I will say this it did not apply first sweat you know first application it didn't apply patchy second application it didn't apply patchy and it didn't disturb the layer that I had already placed on so if you can find those I highly suggest grabbing it I really want the purple one and, and like the bronzy gold one so awesome the next thing she brought me was this Wet n Wild Single in Nutty. She wasn't sure if I had this one yet or not, so she brought it, which I do have it, but I'm super excited to have a backup because I always check when I go to a Super Walmart grocery shopping and they never have this single. So I'm, I'm super excited to have a backup of that. The next thing she brought me from Wet n Wild was one of their new, I believe these are called Quince. It's the five shadow palettes, and this is in The Naked Truth. And these shades are right up my alley. So this would be super nice for traveling because it has shimmers and mattes and so you could totally do one look with this palette. Which I do not own any of the Revlon Colorstay um, long wear nail polishes. She brought me this in the shade Stormy Night which I love these taupe-ish gray colors. Love it. And then the next thing she brought me, oh my god oh my god i don't know where i was when this came out probably sleeping under a rock somewhere but this is the urban decay beauty with an edge palette i believe this was released was it last year or the year before last anyway she doesn't reach for it and so she asked she, she gave it to me it does have some of your more you know neutral um, everyday shades. It has, you know, some darker colors and then it also has some fun vibrant colors. I want to try to incorporate more color on my lower lash line. So yeah, that was what she brought. I could have had pop sat there and had coffee and left with just this and I would have been over the moon. <laughs> oh, oh my God. How could I forget? I, I, I cannot find these anywhere and we were talking about it and she surprised me with the Jordana blushes. And she got me five shades. She got me Redwood, Coral Sandy, Beach, Touch of Pink, The Blushing Rose, and then Rose Silk. Love the gift. Amazing. She knocked it out of the park. So, so the next stop was MAC, and if you saw my haul on Instagram, you probably noticed a lot more MAC items that I'm gonna sh that I'm gonna show here. I went back to Macy's this morning in Madison, and I returned a lot of the MAC stuff, not because I don't want them, but I applied for my pro card because you know I, I am a freelance makeup artist and I I do have my um, aesthetics license. So um, I applied for a pro card, which I've been meaning to do since I've had my license, which has been over seven years. Got all this stuff, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where like, oh, grab me this, grab me this. And then I got home and I got to thinking, you know what? I applied for that pro card and, you know, hopefully I'm approved. And then I can get all of this at 40% because everything was permanent um, that I returned. So I returned those items, which whatever. But the two items that I did purchase um, that I'm keeping, this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Superb. Now this was a re-promote, re and here's what it looks like in the pan. And I'll swatch it, I'm sure you, you've seen this a ton. Um, I missed out on this the first time. And then when it came out, again, in the MAC Magnetic Nude Collection, I was excited to see it, but I passed on it because I didn't really feel I needed it. Well, it's gorgeous. I pondered it and pondered it and pondered it and for weeks and weeks and weeks and I'd go on the Nordstrom website and they still had it and so I was like, oh, do I need it? So I was talking to Laura, Mrs. Lola, 
leave her link below. Um, anybody I talk about, I'll leave the link to their channel in the description box. But I was talking with her and I'm like, do you think I need Superb? Like, is it a must? Well, she asked me what other, um, I have, oh, what is it? Definitely Defined or something like that from a previous collection. And so she's like, okay, I have that one and I have Superb. I'll swatch them side by side so you can see the difference. Well, they're clearly different. So I'm like, okay, I absolutely have to have it. Well, since I'm on a no-buy, I'm like, okay, I hope to God they have it at the Mac. Well, they, they you know, when I go shopping, and they did. So I picked it up. And then the second thing I picked up, and I'm wearing this today, and I'm super in love. PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Stubborn Brown. I, oh, it's just a really beautiful brown color. And it goes on so smooth, especially for the waterline. I have, um... I wear contacts and I have a, I struggle a lot with eyeliners transferring to my contacts and then I can't see. So I struggle with that. So with that being said, I don't tend to wear eyeliner in my waterline, which is a travesty because I love the way it looks. Kristen said that this was one of her favorite browns and she... Sorry if the light's changing, the sun's kind of going in. I picked it up and wearing it today. I love it. It hasn't transferred, it hasn't smudged, and it hasn't faded at all. So I'm really, really impressed. I might have to check out a few more shades in that formula. And then the next items I got from MAC, I got six lipsticks. Um, I backed to MAC. And the limit is four, so Kristen put two on, on her transaction so I didn't have to carry a bunch of empties around with me. So I will show you the shades I got. And this shade, I, I'm just going to tell you I am obsessed with. It is the shade Taupe. And you will look at this swatch and be like, really? That is like a horrendous terracotta brown. Why would you ever want that shade? But I will tell you what, it looks so different it on, and then I wore this all day. I love it. So an excellent recommendation. Oh, love it. The next, this was a recommend, I, I couldn't decide on what I wanted my sixth lipstick to be. So the freelance artist that was there, I said, what do you think I need? And he recommended this cream sheen and cream in your coffee. Very pretty. It's similar in tone to the taupe but it pulls a little bit pinkier. Shades were actually recommendations by a few of my subscribers. This is the shade Captive. Very pretty. And then this is the shade, I don't even know, I don't have a viewfinder guys, so if my necklace under, uh, ever you know hides behind my shirt, I can't help it. It's not like I'm seeing it and neglecting it. Um, and then this is the shade Brave box which oh I die for and this is a I'm doing so bad explaining this you guys amplified very pretty and then another amplified I got which is up the amp and I'm so pumped to have this because you know the Pantone color of the year is radiant orchid so it's awesome up the amp is perfect for that counter that we made a stop at was Chanel and I picked up a couple things I had been wanting a quad for the longest time but I wanted to swatch it in person because I've heard that the quads are hit or miss so this is the quad in number 79 spices and these colors oh my gosh are right up my alley here's what they look like this is Spices swatched and very, 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 very beautifully. So I'm really not powdery at all. So super excited. If you're interested in trying a quad, I haven't used this as far as as far as an eye look, but swatching, you know, you can tell a lot when you squatch when you squatch it. When you swatch it, and none of these are powdery. At all. And I'm not fancy in any way. So if I'm ever mispronouncing any of this stuff, I apologize. But this is a Jouer Contrast blush. In num powder blush in number 87, Emotion. That gorgeous, super silky, beautiful. You have to have it. You have to have it. Items were three lipsticks. 
and I got a I've never had a Chanel lipstick so this is my first time if you will a rouge cocoa shine a rouge cocoa and then I got a rouge allure. first one I'll go ahead and talk about is the rouge allure and this is in number 89 Gracile look how beautiful seal gorgeous and then the rouge coco shine i got was number 87 rendezvous so so here's rendezvous very very pretty and then the rouge coco that i got is in the number five mademoiselle there it is in mademoiselle so super, super, super obsessed with everything that I got from Chanel. And now I'm like on a Chanel kick. So actually from, this is the Dior um, Addict Glass. And this is from the Spring Collection. And this is in the shade 772 Exquise or Exquise. I, I don't, I don't know. It's spelled E-X-Q-U-I-S-E. -E. And I'm wearing this right now and Oh my god. I love this. The packaging is just beautiful. The color is gorgeous. And then look at it. How can you pass that up? The app we made was to no introduction. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm not going to swap. I'm definitely going to do a get ready with me using this. Maybe a tutorial. Haven't decided. But I will say the colors are beautiful and it smells heavenly the only thing I can say so far negative that I'm not loving is the fact that the colors are like just on this sheet and I usually throw these things out but I'm not going to be able to so I just don't like that because then you have to remember to put it in mine usually ends up on the floor floating around my bedroom so what else and then the next item I got was one of the Too Faced what are these? The La Cremes. And this is in the shade Taffy. These smell so good. Gorgeous peachy nude shade. Perfect for really better than sex mascara. I just went through a deluxe sample of this and I love it. So I bought a full size. Next item we'll talk about. The next, like and next. This Marc Jacobs Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl in the shade Studded Kiss. Now, this was a purchase because of Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. She talked about this in one of her videos and I wrote it down and I've been obsessed with it ever since and I'm so glad I picked it up because it is just beautiful. I got this OCC Lip Tar in the shade Annika. It's just a peachy nude shade. And I am obsessed with these, so I do plan on buying more of okay. that. Beautiful. Pretty, 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 pretty. Up the NARS section, and I've been eyeing up these babies for well before Christmas. But these are the satin lip pencils and in the shade U and Luxembourg. Just so creamy. Oh my gosh. Here's the shade U, just a, a vibrant, a vibrant pink, Luxembourg. Just a pretty watermelony shade. The ours I got was this blush in lying up this baby as well, and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Shimmery peach shade with Sheen. I love these kinds of makeup forever, and these two were because of Jaclyn Hill. Um, she talked about these in her. Best of 2013. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Bronze Shade 20. And when I swatched this at Sephora, I thought to myself, there is no way in heck this is going to be dark enough for, for me for a bronzer because here's the swatch right there. I'm like, this, there's, there's no way. But I used it today pleasantly surprised it is beautiful so if you go to Sephora and you swatch it and you're not quite sure pick it up because you will not be disappointed this is probably going to actually replace my chocolate soleil unfortunately that that one and I are having issues right now even though it is a favorite we're fighting and then the next thing I got was this 
blush powder in number 162. Now, I hope I got the right thing because she talked about this eyeshadow that looked very similar to this in number 162. And this is the only thing I could find in number 162. So if you're familiar with Makeup Forever and how they number things and if things are universal in their line, products are universal in their line, let me know because I'm keeping this anyway and I'm using it as an eyeshadow because I'm, I would never wear this as a blush. It's just a warm, holy pigmentation. It's just a very warm, rusty brown. I love to use these in my crease. So if you know anything about Makeup Forever, please let me know if I'm right about that. And then the last item, two items I got from Sephora were the Smashbox. These are the 15 hour wear cream shadows. Um, I got it in je the shade uh, Gemstone and in the shade Icon. And these were not on my list going into Sephora, but Kristen said that she got them recently and loved them and said they were super creamy. And I, I you know, swatched the tester and yes, they are super creamy. Um, so I'm interested to see how they keep. So this is the shade Gemstone. And then this is the shade Icon. And here's what it looks like in the pan or the pot. Oh my God, Icon. Just a gorgeous chocolatey bronze color. So both very pretty. Happy to have those. I'm happy to have everything. I just, it was a good recommendation. And these babies, you know, once they set, they don't budge. So the hit up was Ulta. Now, <sighs> apparently while at Sephora, I picked up Juicy Melons in the La Creme, and then I also picked up one from Ulta in Juicy Melons. So I'm gonna take the one back to Sephora and exchange it for a different color because I'm pretty sure I meant to pick up a different shade at Ulta and I didn't, but what else? Juicy Melons. Just a very pretty coral peach color. And then the next item I got was this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Exposed. Now don't gasp. I don't know where I was when this shade came out, but I passed on it. And I think it's because every time I swatched it either at Ulta or at Sephora, the swatch was like, even see it. And I know people swear by it and love it, but I'm like one of those things, like I have to see it to believe it most of the time. And this one just wasn't speaking to me. But look how pretty that is. I love this. I'm sure I have a shade like this, but it is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I have a few other of those that I really like. So this thing I got is this Laura Geller Baked Blush in Malibu. This is the first item from Laura Geller that I've purchased and I wanted to grab a few other things but I wanted to try this first and see how it wore on my skin before I you know went and bought the whole line but here it is just a gorgeous bright pink and I love these kind of shades I'm a very big big I'm big into bright blushes you know this is gonna sound the, the more like street corner lady I look regarding my blush, the better I feel about myself, <laughs> which I know is probably a terrible explanation, but I like a lot of blush. And then the next item I got, and I didn't take this out of the packaging yet, but um, I wasn't even going to pick this up because I normally don't gravitate towards Bare Minerals, but Kristen got one. When I think when I believe when she went shopping with Emily and I she said it was a really great deal because for twenty dollars you get a marvelous moxie and the shade is gorgeous you get two of the loose eye eyeshadows one in cherry cocoa truffle and one in sultry and then you also get oh this is in temptress and then you also get the flawless definition mascara in black and then you also get this. Um, eye shaping brush. So for 20 bucks, I thought, heck yeah, I'll take that lunch. And Kristen was said, you have to try this. And I know she's talked about this. It's the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Soft Raspberry. Emily describes this as 
the sweatpants of lip products and she is absolutely right this is just perfect to have in your purse to throw it on for you know just to have something gorgeous and it smells um, the next thing I got was because of Laura Mrs. Lola Lynn and this is the voluminous butterfly mascara and I got it in black as black I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna go on my back the volume de Chanel she loved and I love that as well and then she said that this was in her review video was comparable to that so I thought I would give that a try and then when you bought I had a coupon when you bought something $7.99 or more from L'Oreal you got to pick out a free eyeshadow $7.99 or less and so I got one of the new L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows in the color purple priority and I didn't even swatch this up. It was kind of like the, I, I asked the girl, and she's like, "Oh yeah, it's any 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 eyeshadow, seven ninety nine or less." So of course I went and picked this one up because why wouldn't I grab an infallible when I can? And look at it. It's just a gorgeous purple, almost like a duo chrome with a little bit of blue. Gorgeous. So for free, heck yeah. And then the next, the next. I keep saying, and then the next. That's probably so annoying. I got two, I've never tried anything from Jane Cosmetics, so I got two eyeshadows, one in Dawn, and these are their shimmer eyeshadows, and again, this shade is right up my alley, coppery, bronzy, goldy shade, and then I got another shimmer shade in Passion Flower. I heard these were hit or miss, so when people were raving about certain colors, I made sure to note these, and then these were the two that Kristen liked as well. I know I've been saying that a lot, but when you're shopping with somebody who has good taste, you tend to take their word for it. <laughs> the last uh, brand of items I got at Ulta were from Essence, and I do not own any Essence products. These are my first... Um, my first items from Essence, so I got the two, two of the Stay Matte Lip Creams, I've heard good things about these, and I got in, them in the shade, this is the shade Velvet Rose, there's only three of them, there's the, this color, the berry color, and then a red, which I didn't, here is Smooth Berry. So I've heard amazing things about these, and these are buy one, get one 50% off. Then I got, I love Extreme, the, the Crazy Volume Mascara. Um, so I thought I would pick that up and try that. Eyeshadow, and this, and I'm wearing this today with that Rimmel Scandalized Eyeshadow Paint, and I got this in the shade Hard oh, Night. Now, when you open this, it has like a layer of glitter. I rubbed that stuff off and got down to the nitty gritty of the color, and it is gorgeous because when I swatched it in the store I was like obsessed because how beautiful is that and then when I opened it this morning to use it I'm like wait a second did I grab the wrong one but no you just swirl it off till that glittery layer is gone and then underneath is a beautiful shadow and I'm wearing it today and so far I love it especially over top of this oh love I'm obsessed and then the last set of items I got were four of these Silky Touch blushes. Ew. And I'm not going to swatch them all because I'm going to do a Sweetheart. I got Secret It Girl. And these were all buy one get one 50% off. Baby Doll. And the shade Adorable. Out, we stopped at Bath & Body Works. I made Kristen because we weren't gonna go in there because we both walked by the first time. We're like, a uh, too crazy attack. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, at least for me, I'm not gonna go on that madness. But on the way back, it kind of sucked me in. I had a gift card, and I'm like, you know what? I'd rather buy now. I don't want to have to pay for shipping. Whatever. So I got. I ended up getting 
three of the Paris Amour Intense Moisture Body Butters and then three of the Golden Sugar Scrub in Paris Amour. I did not think I would like this because anything with flowers on the outside, I tend to stray away from because mama don't like floral. <laughs> but this is not florally at all. I mean, it has a, scent, a hint of floral, but in it, because it's supposed to be a blend of French tulips, apple blossoms, and sparkling pink champagne touched with sandalwood and creamy musk. I will say the reason why I probably like this, even though it has floral notes to it, is because of the sandalwood and the creamy musk. I think those overtake the floral and cuts, cuts that scent, if that makes sense. So I'm loving this. And I mean, I had a $25 gift card, guys. And I got three of these Tense Moisture Body Butters and then three of these ginormous sugar, golden sugar scrubs for $24. Out, we went back through Macy's at the Estee Lauder counter. And I was only gonna get a sample, but I decided to get a full size of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've heard amazing things about this. And I know I said I had to go through foundations before I could buy some more, but I'm gonna tell you what, guys, I have another foundation that I'm loving and I'm gonna, I wanted to use it for a while before I do a review on it and I'm going to do a review on it. So look for that. But the moral of the story is I took all the foundations that I had said in my New Year's resolution video and I either chucked the ones that were almost empty and the others I put in a box and I'm going to be sending to my mom and my sister with a couple of other things. So, with that being said, I've only been using one foundation since I bought, purchased it and because I'm that obsessed. Well, I thought I would try this out as well and I'm equally obsessed. So I've only worn this once, it's what I'm wearing today and I will tell you what, this underneath the Chanel Le Beiges is like magic. And this isn't a review video so I'll just keep on task, but I'm in the shade 2N1 as are beige, and it's the number 12. And it is a perfect match of things about it so far. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to add. This is what I got in my 100 point perk from Sephora. It is a uh, Formula X nail polish in the shade Perfection. Oh, I forget this little guy. So yeah, I, I'm going to do a review on the Jordana blushes, and I'm going to do a review on the Essence blushes just because I've never tried either of them. And I think a first impression would be kind of cool. At least in my opinion. I know there's tons of videos out there, but I'm going to do it anyway because I do these videos not only for you guys, but for me too, and I think it'll be fun to do. So yeah, if you need, if you want a review or a tutorial or if you have questions about anything I purchased, please comment below. Um, I love to hear what you guys have to say. I love to respond. I love to get that, you know, dialogue going back and forth with you guys. So please, 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 please. If you ever have a question, don't be afraid to comment. I will respond, um, and I like to try to respond same day. So if you have any questions, you know, hit me up. Uh, there's like a squirrel. It's just so insane to see like animals out and about. It's it's like 26 degrees here, which doesn't seem warm to anybody, I'm sure, but it's as warm as it's gonna get here for a while. And there's a squirrel out on the tree, which we don't see them until spring. So. On Instagram if you're not. Um, I'll, it's always listed below. I post, you know, quite a bit on there. Um, I also include lots of pictures of my family and my child and whatever, so if you're interested in seeing that part of my life, check it out. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my haul. Again, I'm not bragging in any way. I don't want you to think like this is what I do on the daily because it's not. I'm trying to be better about buying and spending and whatnot because like I told my husband today he's like why are you returning these you just bought them yesterday it's like you know honey I, I don't really need some of this stuff and it was kind of like there in my face you buy it you gravitate when you get home and you look at what you have you realize you don't really need it all and so I'm learning that along the way I've kind of always been an all or nothing person so I'm trying to be better about that so please do not be offended by my haul again this was Christmas money gift cards and a bunch of you know those store credit cards you get when you return to Sephora if you don't have your receipt or packaging, which that was the worst thing in 2013 I could have done. <laughs> but um, this is probably going to be so long. You guys are probably already so sick of hearing what I have to say. But again, leave any comments below. Like this video. 
subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.